This is possibly the craziest video I have ever made. This workflow will blow your socks off. Things are about to get crazy, okay? So, obviously everyone knows about the NA10 MCP, but what I didn't realize, and maybe other people didn't realize either, is that the power here isn't that you can use MCPs inside NA10, it's that you can use NA10 as an MCP. Why did nobody tell me this? I, I literally did not realize this. I'm gonna show you in this video how you can self-host completely for free NA10, right? You can connect Gmail to it, and then you can automate outreach for backlinks, right? I'm just gonna use backlinks as an example. This is insane. This is not using browser use, none of that. It's all completely autonomous, and basically we're gonna be turning Klein or Roo into our own VA, but I mean like a high level VA. I don't mean a VA like, you know, all those AI fucking things where it's like, oh my God, replace your VA with this crap AI. No, this is literally, you could probably replace your VA with AI today, right? This is the first time that I've been able to say that with some confidence. Automate literally anything, right? I mean it this time. This is honestly nuts, right? I'm sorry for swearing, but this is crazy guys. NA10 MCP is crazy. Right, let's get into it. To be clear, I have never been able to programmatically send myself an email until today, right? So first things first, go to Google, type in NA10 GitHub. All these steps will, they'll all be in my school very, very soon. I'm gonna put them in there probably before I release this video. Um, or you can just get them from the SOP that I'll leave in the description of this video as well. If you do want to support me, first link in the description, the AI Automation School. I'm putting my heart and soul into this. The reason I even know about the NA10 MCP is because of these guys right here. So shout out to all of them. If you want to support me or if you just want to kind of boost your AI learning abilities, definitely think about joining the AI Automation School today. First link in the description of this video. First thing you want to do, NA10 GitHub on Google, click the first one. You need something called Node.js. Again, I'm not going to go into things like how to set up Node.js. There's a whole module on this in the school, or you can just go on Google or just ask ChatGPT, how do I set up Node.js, et cetera, et cetera, right? So download Node.js. Once you have Node.js, okay, what you need to do is you need to do this, N -A -N -P -X -N -A -N, right? I'm going to start a whole new thing so you can see that I'm not doing any like crazy tricks or I'm not hiding anything from you guys, okay? We're at the same point in time. If, you're, if you've got problems with Node, you probably just need to add it to path if you don't know what that means. Honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy to tell you. Just uh, either join the school or just Google uh, how to add things to path. Okay, so we can see here we have NA10. If I open this up, right, we have, this is self-hosted, right? I'm not paying for NA10. This is actually crazy. I didn't realize that you could even self-host NA10, but apparently you can. Let's create a workflow here, right? The only thing that you need to know how to do is to go on console Google, right? So Google, con Google console, click on the first one, and then you want to go to APIs and services, right? On the left here, credentials, or sorry, OAuth. Click on OAuth consent screen on the left, right? And then click clients. I'm gonna show you how to do all of this, right? Create a new client. Application type, web app, web three, authorized JavaScript origins will leave empty. I'll show you what to, we'll just leave it on this screen for now. I'll show you how to do uh, the next part of this in just a second, right? We'll call this um, MCP video. I'm gonna do all of this, right? Normally I just already have this set up. I do already have this set up, of course, but I'm just gonna show you how to set up every single part of this. Sorry if you can hear kids in the background. I've got neighbors and one of their kids is literally uh, screaming. Um, okay, so first step on NA10, right? We type in MCP here. This is what you need. This is what you need to put, right? So we can, um, okay, so we'll be using this in just a second, right? But for now, we'll just test step, right? Next thing we want to do is we want to add Gmail, right? Gmail is one example of millions of things that you can do. You can call your own workflows. You can do all of these different things, right? This is not limited to Gmail. I'm just using Gmail as an example. There are so many hundreds of things that you can actually do here, right? I'm just gonna be using Gmail. I believe it's not even a tool, if I'm correct, but anyway. 
So we'll click here, right? Credentials to connect with. I'll just create a new credential so that you guys know how to do all of this. This OAuth redirect URL, I'm gonna press copy right here. And I'm gonna add that here, right? I believe we also have to put something here. So I'm just gonna put local host like that and then press create, right? I'll have, I'll have deleted all of this by the time this video goes live, right? So client ID goes here, client secret goes here and then sign in. Okay, this won't, this might not work um, because I haven't said that. So let's just run through this and see if it does work. Looks like it is gonna work, yeah, okay. So that did work. I thought that we had to add our email address uh, to the accepted domains, but we don't. So now we cancel that. Let's just save this. What we wanna do here is we wanna press let model decide, let model decide, let model decide, right? And we'll do email type text. We could do HTML to be honest with you if we really wanted to have a good shot of getting backlinks, but let's just leave it, let's just make it nice and simple for now. We'll leave it nice and simple, right? So we'll press cancel here. Now it says waiting for you to create an event in MCP, right? So let's double click here. Let's stop listening and then click to copy this URL right here. Then we'll hop on over to Visual Studio Code. I love saying that word. Go to Klein, right? Um, you can either use Klein. Um, I haven't worked out how to add this to Rue just yet. So I'll be using Klein in this video because they have uh, remote servers, right? So just so you know, I have Fetch and Brave as well. And I also have Open Router Search. I'm not going to be going through those in this video, okay? But I am going to be using them in this video. So if you want to know how to use those, you can watch the last couple of videos that I've just uploaded to the channel, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to remote servers and I'm going to call this um, MCP video and then paste that URL and then add server, right? Let's just delete the other server that we did before. Let's press retry connection here. Okay, so we'll press test here and then we'll just try and reconnect here. This was working before, I promise you. Okay, I just reconnected and of course it works, right? So now just watch and learn, okay? I'm just gonna do one as an example, but once this is, like you can do this on root code as well, I just, I haven't worked it out because I can't be bothered manually installing the server. It's not that difficult, okay? In fact, I could probably just go to um, my client servers, press configure here, and if I'm not mistaken, if I do hello, very interesting. Okay, so I think I can also just copy this, right, and go to Roo. I do need to open a folder for this, annoyingly, but that's fine. We'll just select this folder, whatever. So we'll just go to Roo here, because I do want to do this with Boomerang Tasks, because I think this is going to be absolutely fucking nuts with Boomerang Tasks. I'm sorry to keep swearing, guys. Trust me, I'm not crazy. This video is about to blow your socks off. So let's say done here. Let's just copy our MCP servers over here. So if I press edit global MCP, you can see these guys use always allow. So what I like to do is I like to paste and then do control F and look for auto approve, auto approve and replace it with always allow. I don't know why they would do that. I don't know why they can't just use the same thing, um, but we can replace that. There we go. And then save that and press done here. And now if I go on Roo again, then we should see, okay, it says connection refused. So I think there's a problem with remote servers on Roo. Um, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work just yet with Roo. You can do this with Roo, I'm pretty sure, but just not like this, right? Let's just try with Roo quickly. Send an email to incomestreamsurfer at gmail.com saying, hi bro, use the N810 MCP. Let's just see if it can do this. I don't think it can because it, it's saying it's not connected. And I think it's because, yeah, so it's not, that's fine. Let me just show you this with um, Klein, right? So let's do the same thing. This is Klein. I send this and it should just send an email, right? Let's have a look. So just, just give me two seconds to blow your socks off guys before you click off this video. Just, just wait a sec. Okay, so it does say connection refused. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Okay, it says not connected. This worked before this video, I promise you. I just need to work out why this isn't working real quick. Maybe it's because I changed these settings. So let's just control V, control Z even. All right, let's try this again. Let's say it's now connected, which I mean, it might be. Let's have a look. No. Okay, so let's delete this server, right? 
And then we'll just do this again real quick. I'm probably going to get rid of some of my MCP servers. This stuff is getting absolutely ridiculous. So we'll just try this one more time. So stop listening here. Oh, right. That's what the problem is. It's I stopped NAM. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I stopped NAM. Okay, so yeah, I'm a complete idiot, guys. I, I stopped uh, NA10. That's why it didn't work. Okay, so we're connected again there. That was because I opened up the new um, Visual Studio Code file in order for Recode to be able to do stuff. So let's do this again. Send an email to income stream surfer at gmail.com saying hi bro now i know that's not a very good example of something to do but just remember that klein can do autonomous research on websites for you including finding emails right so if you're doing backlinking for example let's see approve there we go now if i just hop on over i love saying that to gmail you'll see hi bro right this email was sent automatically with na10 can we remove that no idea so now that we've seen this, let's combine a few MCPs here. Let's just see, um, try again, it's called, um, what's it called? An A10 server. Let me, just, let me just try this one more time with Rue, because I do want to do this with Boomerang Tasks. But if it's not possible with Boomerang Tasks, then it's fine. I just want to quickly see if it is. So we'll save that. It's called NA10 server. We need to change those. So there we go. Um, try one more time. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, so it's something to do with it being a remote server. It doesn't work on uh, Recode right now. That's fine. Um, doesn't matter. We'll just use Klein for this example. You can still do what I'm showing you on Roo with Boomerang. It's just you need extra setup steps that I'm not going to get into in today's video because it might confuse people. Okay, so... I am looking for backlinks for my website to men.it. First, establish the kind of website my website is, then find other websites using Brave, Fetch, and Open Router Search MCPs in order to send tailored emails to. Um, I need them to be draft. I don't actually want to send any emails here. Can I do that? Probably, right? Draft. Mark is red. Get many. Draft. There we go. Yeah. I just want to try. I want to do draft because I don't actually want to send any emails out, of course, because I'm not actually looking for uh, backlinks right now from income stream service at gmail.com, obviously. Okay. So send tailored emails to people who are offering backlinks. You can normally find these by finding niche relevant websites with right for us in their name, uh, in on one of on one of their pages. Use the NAN MCP to draft professional style emails to get me automated backlinks while I sleep. Now, I did not really fully understand the power of this, right? I, I just thought that what we could do is create agents that would have access to NA10, uh, that on, on A10 that would have access to MCPs. That's not why this is cool. This is cool because you can use this as your own custom MCP server to get around things like OAuth, send emails quickly, all that good stuff. Honestly, right now, this is a gold mine opportunity because you can literally make millions setting up very simple MCP servers that send automated emails. If you don't know, like Instantly is already like a million dollar company. You can replace Instantly in two minutes with this, right? Now, one thing that Instantly does do actually that this doesn't do is warm up your emails and stuff. But I mean, pretty much you can replace a million dollar SaaS with in, in, in a few minutes, right, basically. So let's just watch this uh, make some progress. I just want to see it draft one single email so you guys can see how cool this is. Remember that I could be actually automatically sending emails as well. I'm just showing you guys, you know, the potential of this. Now, there are many, many other things other than Gmail here. There are hundreds of tools, it looks like. 
you can even attach more than one tool at the same time. You can attach an entire NAN workflow tool, right? Which is really cool. You can write a tool in Python. Okay, Postgres vector store, like all of these different things. Work with your data in Superbase. A lot of these things I'm not sure about. Okay, so one thing that these backlinkers, they do, they, they have a picture of your, the email instead. So it just said, look, there's a picture. Can you just give me the picture? So like it, it will still be able to do all that, but I just think it's really interesting that it came up with that. So look at this. It's now drafting the email, right? If I had this on auto approve, it would have just done this automatically. Oh, I didn't press test workflow here. So we'll just test workflow. Wait, do it again with the MCP. Remember, like I'm, I'm just playing around here. So there are obviously going to be a couple of things that aren't quite as automated as they should be, right? Because I have to still press approve. Okay, so for some reason the drafting thing isn't working, but... Okay, great. So I just went through all of that. The reason it wasn't working is because it was using the wrong uh, tool name. It was using uh, Gmail send instead of just Gmail. If I go to send, you can see that we now... I mean, look at that. That's so cool. Obviously, this has got a few problems in it. You'd have to walk, work out the issues. I don't know if you can remove this email was sent automatically with NA10. However, I think we can all agree this is absolutely nuts. And remember, this is just going to keep going, right? And this is probably going to send another email now to somebody else, right? I need to stop it before it does. I want to keep it running, but the problem is, yeah, look, so if I just press approve here. Okay, so there are some problems. Oh, the reason it's not working is because it, it worked, right? Once this is a live active NA10 flow and node, this will, by the way, I'm not an expert on NA10, just so you know, that's, you can probably tell if you watch this video, but you can literally automate anything, any kind of email outreach, any kind of anything that you do with NA10 with Klein and Rue being the decision maker or data finder, right? Instead of you getting a big CSV of emails, you get the emails while you're sending them. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. I'm going to be looking a lot more into this. The reason is coding something that automatically sends emails sucks. This is so much better. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video on Absolute Legend, check out the school, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.